So I've got really fucking bad news for you. If you are waiting for someone to die or somehow leave your life in order for you to be fully healed, when they die, you won't fully heal. What I mean by that is, if you're waiting for someone to die, usually a parent, before you can feel, finally feel like, oh, I'll be healed and I can move on with my life, what that means is, when they die, you still won't do the work, and the work is inside of you. It's not wrapped up in another person being alive or dead. The pain that is being caused is not primarily being caused by the living, breathing person out of, you know, outside of you. It is being caused by that parent inside of you from 20, 40, 60 years ago. And if you're running from that parent and all of that pain and all of those memories that have powerful emotional charges attached to them, if you're running from that now, you will run from it later because you'll think you won't have to. It may be a relief. It may make coping with life easier when they pass away. But the notion you'll be fully healed, nope. Because you'll still avoid the shit that you're avoiding right now. The truth is you don't need anyone to heal, or excuse me, you don't need anyone to die in order for you to heal. You think you do, but you don't. In fact, if you, the more you're wrapped up in that thought, the more you believe that your inner work is dependent upon external circumstances. Yes, are there times when we have to get ourselves out of extreme circumstances, such as abuse, uh, in order to do the healing work fully? Yes, of course. But I'm talking about situations where we're waiting for some external circumstance to happen before I can do the healing work. Generally speaking, you will never be healed when they die. Why? because you won't do the work then that you've been avoiding right now. When do you have the courage to actually go inside and do the fucking work? Have a kick-ass day.